Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorias. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I will show you how to design this amazing medical background in Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is 2D software and has rudimentary 3D tools, but nonetheless their function is not that vestigial. Look at the artworks that you can create with the 3D tools. The link box to this tutorial you will find in the description, but right now I will show you how to design this bloody amazing background by using the 3D Revolve tool. 3D Revolve tool is the way to create the 3D tool by rotating the object around the axis. So today we will be creating first the 2D object and then rotate it around this axis to create the real erythrocyte. And then I will show you how to scatter this erythrocyte to create the background. So let's get started. And before we begin guys. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friend. It helps my videos to get more people and it doesn't cost you a penny. And we will start by bringing up the grid. I, I'm using the default grid and you will find it by going to the view, hide or show grid. And then we need to stick to the grid, find this option also under the view menu. Then we need to create a perfect circle using the ellipse tool and duplicate this circle. Delete the fill of this circle to see what is going on then. Then draw a rectangle to combine this circle into one shape and then use the pathfinder and combine them into one shape eventually. Then head over and add anchor points by going to the object path add anchor points and with the direct selection tool select two points and squeeze them with the scale tool. You can find the scale tool by clicking S on your keyboard. Finally, you need to slice that half of this 3D shape by drawing the line or using the rectangle and then using either pathfinder or shape builder tool or uh, divide our object below. All of this function can give you the half of this design. Then you need to clean the shape and rotate 90 degrees this half and head over to the 3D options and we need to go to the effect 3D revolve and here we need to change only one option we need to rotate from the right side so you need to head over to this drop down and change from to the right side now that we have this 3D tool and we need to find the angle and in order to find the angle you can rotate this 3D box on the top when you finish, make it duplicate and rotate a second erythrocyte to find a better position for you. Make more variation and when you finish with three of them, you need to make the three duplicates. And then draw a marquee around original files and throw them to the symbols panel to create your first symbol. Because we are going to use the symbol sprayer tool to scatter all of them on the canvas. Now grab your duplicates and head over to the appearance panel and change the angle of the revolve effect to create as much variation as possible. As you can see I'm using three of these groups and I'm adding three by three on my symbols panel and I also want to add and create individual erythrocyte as a symbol to scatter them as well to create a really dynamic image. When you finish with your symbols, head over to the symbol sprayer tool. If you are using the recent version of Adobe Illustrator 20 or 21, you may find them under this ellipsis menu. You need to bring up, grab and throw it on your tools panel and then grab and start spraying your symbol on the different layers. Now grab the symbol screener tool and introduce some transparency into your symbols. For this part you might need to resize your symbol screener tool with the square bracket keys. Get to pressing too hard with the symbol screener tool will delete your object, will introduce 100% of transparency and in order to get them back you just need to hold alt key and you will get the opposite result you will pull some opposite into your symbol elements finally let's create the background by selecting the rectangle and covering the entire canvas then head over to the gradient panel if you don't find the gradient panel go to the windows gradient and change the 
gradient type to radial by clicking this icon on top of your gradient slider and then change the colors to the red. And we are done guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you do give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues. Thank you for watching and don't forget to visit vitorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator and Gravity Designer tutorial. Have a nice day.